are all feeling good. Um, today just feels like it's just being one of those typical Mondays, if you know what I mean. I had to film a campaign this morning, which surprisingly, it actually went okay. Um, you will probably see that live soon, I think. Um, I just wore some shoes. In regards to last week's vlog, if you saw it, I binge watched Fake the Link Saga and um, I'm really, really annoyed that there's no season three. Like, I really enjoyed it and I can't believe there's no season three. Like, I'm, I'm actually really peed off at Netflix. Um, but yeah, that was really good. I have actually been listening to <laughs> Fourth Wing. Um, but an audiobook version just on YouTube um, because I still I still crave <laughs> that fourth wing world and I don't have the time at the moment to kind of sit down on the sofa and just kind of dive into a book so it's been really nice having it just as an audiobook and having it on in the background we can still feel a part of that world whilst multitasking and everything so yeah, that's the update in regards to series and books. Um, I thought Summer Return Pretty was going to be released this year, but I don't think it is, is it? I swear I saw someone on TikTok say that it's going to be released this summer, but they haven't even started filming, so I think that's going to be next year, which is gut-wrenching. I do have to tell you a really good film that I watched last week um, on Amazon, and it's called Puppy Love. Got Lucy Hale in it, and um, it was great. It was a really good kind of like rom com film, not your usual kind of storyline, I don't think. So yeah, it was really really good. Really enjoyed that. Highly recommend. And I also did I tell you that I watched Irish Wish with Lindsay Lohan? Can't remember if I did it. <laughs> that one's on Netflix. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad I watched it, and. It was so crap and cheesy, but I think that's what made me love it so much. There was parts of it, I was just going like, is this for real? Like, the acting and it was just, yeah. But it was a really kind of fun watch to, you know, again, have in the background and um, it was a nice little storyline. So that's another little rom-com if you want something kind of light-hearted and happy to watch. But I am gonna, Get my cup of tea, I'm gonna go sit in the office and I've got to crack on with a lot of work. I am meeting Eli after his work this evening because it's time we get our Easter eggs. We are gonna to go to the supermarket and get Easter eggs for one another and I'm so excited. Easter is this weekend. Um, by the time you're watching this, it would have just been, but I'm a bit worried that they're gonna be sold out of Easter eggs. I mean, we'll see. But um, I think I'm also going to do some baking this week as well. I want to make little Easter nest cakes, you know, the little mini eggs on top. But I cannot decide, actually, I, this is one problem I'm having. I can't decide whether to do Rice Krispies or cornflakes. Did not mess around. Eli chose the Toblerone Easter egg. I'm very intrigued to try this. I'm not going to like because I do love a Toblerone. I went for this big boy. Eli was the one that picked it up and was like, do you want this one? And I was like, are you sure? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, oh my god, yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't want the biggest Easter egg on the shelf? Um, so I got this one and I do love lint chocolate so very excited. I then also bought my 
parents um, some lint bunnies. They don't want Easter eggs this year because they're trying to be good. Uh, but I can't not buy them something, so I got them a little bunny each. Dad white chocolate, mum milk chocolate. And then, oh, Eli also picked these Kinder Bueno eggs. Again, I'm sure they're going to taste great and I'm very excited to give them a try. And then I saw this on the shelf. A cream egg bar. I'm pretty sure this is new, right? I've never seen this before. Um, I feel like this is maybe this year this come out. Correct me if I'm wrong. If I am wrong, please tell me. Um, but yeah, I think this is the first time I've ever seen it. So again, very excited to try this. We've got a lot of Easter snacks and I'm really happy. month again where I sit through and talk about all my monthly favourites for March. I'm going to start off with the very obvious one. <laughs> now am I probably silly for including this? Yes. But have I been obsessed with it all this month? Yes. Cocoa Pops. I forget how good they are. Um, I haven't got many left, sadly, but I'm sure I'll be buying another box. But yeah, I've just been going through the phase of like having cereal as a snack. Sometimes I have it for breakfast in the morning, but my favorite time to have it is like a kind of a late evening snack. Um, it'd be like half nine or 10. And I'm like, mm, kind of peckish. And for some reason I just crave like a bowl of cereal. And this has been the go-to. Next item is this shopping bag. Uh, I got this for my birthday and I just think it's really cute. It's a very like, sweet springy summer kind of shopping reusable bag um you might have seen it in a few weeks was it last week's vlog i went to the flower market or the week the week before actually i brought it with me and you could just fit so much in there and yeah it's just i just really like it it's kind of cute and i've been using it a lot this one, they also do it in a pink and a pastel yellow stripe which is very sweet and they also do it in like a little wash bag version. Next item is this Diptyque candle. And you can see I've used pretty much all of it. Um, it's been the one candle that I've been lighting almost every evening this month. I just, smells really nice. The scent is tuberose, which is the flowers. And it does smell quite kind of fresh, very spring. I don't know what other other notes are in it but it just smells really nice and I also just really love the fact it's got like the dark kind of red ceramic pot jar holder that it's in. Next one is this bra. Now I've worked with Organic Basics in the past as you would have seen I've done um, ads for them for YouTube but I genuinely do wear their products pretty much every day and this bra is so comfortable like i have to like genuinely share. i'm not getting paid to say this right now like it is honestly such a good bra such a comfy kind of everyday thing that i wear but i need to get the white one though i don't have a white one and i feel like i need that for all my white t-shirts this is really random but whenever i kind of make like my iced coffees or ice matches you probably see me use these glasses quite a lot um I obviously have a lot of other options I can use, but these are my go-to just because they look really cool. Um, but they also are quite a nice size. These are just from Amazon. And although I show them quite a lot, I feel like I never actually kind of sit down to show my appreciation and share with you where they're actually from and just how nice they're like, they're really good, you know, good solid glass base. My last item for my March monthly favorites is this little spiral necklace. You would have seen me feature this probably a few times now in past vlogs. Um, 
I just really love it. I think it's so beautiful and simple and it's just, yeah, I really love it. I will link the shop below. It's from the brand Standing O Accessories. She's got some really beautiful pieces um, on her shop, like really nice summery kind of items, which are just stunning. So yeah, if you're after like a new kind of jewelry piece, for the warmer months ahead, then look no further. She has a lot to choose from. And yeah, like it also includes like some really nice beaded pieces too. So definitely check her out. But that is my March monthly favorites. I feel like I rattled for it very, very quickly. Um, but everything will be linked in the description box below if you're interested in getting any of it yourself. I probably won't be able to link the Coco Pops, but they should be available at your nearest store. <laughs> Me and Lena are gonna go for a little W-A-L-K and um, enjoy the sunshine that has finally decided to come out. Hey. Happy Thursday, everybody. I feel like I've got my own cooking show right now, this whole setup. It's time to make the Easter nest chocolate cakes and I'm, I'm so excited. Got the bars of chocolate ready to melt, mini eggs. Um and yeah and we're gonna get started. I'm actually going home, like home home this evening to um see my family. So I thought it would be quite nice to make little cupcakes for everyone and I can put them in our lunch boxes and hand them out on the weekend and um hopefully they taste really yummy so We'll see. <laughs> Hello everybody, um, I'm back in London now. I had the loveliest Easter weekend, but as you can probably see, I haven't actually got much footage from this weekend. I had full intentions of kind of vlogging the whole thing, but I actually just got like home home and I was like, do you know what? I don't want to put the pressure on myself of like having to worry about filming content whilst like being with my family and enjoying this kind of time. Um, so it was nice just to actually kind of like be in the moment and soak it all up and we did like a little easter egg hunt which you would have seen but yeah i just didn't really want to film anything i think i just wanted to spend some time with family because i haven't seen them since christmas so um yeah we had a really lovely time back in london um but i do apologize that this weekly vlog is slightly shorter than normal um but yeah regardless thank you so much for watching and i will see you all next week bye